بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الاحباب if a person realizes the greatness of Allah his fear of him will increase and if a slave is afraid of his lord's retribution he will increase in righteous deeds. Fear of Allah is a cure for idleness and laziness. It is also an excellent trait for a believer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exhorts us all throughout the Quran to fear him and those various acts of worship which will increase our taqwa, increase our fearfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as the ulama say, that taqwa Azza wa Jal, it is fulfilling the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. And this taqwa Azza wa Jal can be achieved in many ways. The many is various forms of obedience to Allah and worship of Him. For example, fasting. Ya yuladhi qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem. Ya yuladhi na amanu kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba aladhina min qablakum la'allakum tattakun. O you who believe, Fasting is prescribed for you, similar to the way it was fast. Uh, it was prescribed for those who came before you, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In order that you would attain taqwa, God-fearfulness. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we listen in the khutbah al hajj all the time, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسَ تَقُوا رَبُّكُمَ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ نَفْسٍ وَاحِدًا O you mankind, fear your Lord who created you from a single soul. Ya yuladina amanu ittaqullaha wa kulu qawlun sadida. O you who believe, fear Allah and speak the truth. So again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exhorts us to have taqwa. And the benefits are many. And they exhibit that you really believe in Allah and His tawheed. That you know He's watching you and you avoid His prohibitions. And you know that he's watching you and you strive to please him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us with Jannah for those and be of those who please him. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala said, I have kept the company of a people who are more worried of their righteous deeds being rejected than of their being punished for their misdeeds or their sins. Yusuf bin Abdul Hassan was described as follows. Whenever he emerged, he would look as if he were coming from the funeral of a close relative of his. And whenever he sat down, he would look as if he was a captive who was about to be executed. Whenever hellfire was mentioned, he would react as if it was created exclusively for him. Ayol Ahbab, this is the case of our noble Salaf, of how they were. But unfortunately, most of us, on the other hand, when we do a sin which is as big as a mountain, we brush it away as if it is a fly. Whereas the companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, used to see the small sins as big as Mount Uhud, as if it was going to fall upon them and destroy them. This is the way of the Salaf of this Ummah, radiyallahu ta'ala anu majma'een. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with a bad, and to follow their sabil, the sabil of mu'mineen. And may Allah accept our good deeds and forgive all of our evil and help the Muslims everywhere, bless the Muslims everywhere, educate and purify and rectify the condition of the Muslims everywhere. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.